Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Chromatic Apparition Removal Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion. And again, this node is another studio version only node. And it is a DaVinci Resolve node available within Fusion. So Chromatic Apparition, um, we can probably see, let's jump in. And we can see all this stuff going on around the side of this uh, building here. This is chromatic aberration or aberration, however you want to pronounce it. And I personally like it, gives it a nice film look. But if you ever need to remove it, you can use the chromatic aberration removal tool. So we're going to bring in a chromatic aberration removal. And we're going to add that. Now on the tool itself, like I said, this is originally a DaVinci Resolve node, which is available within Fusion, but it's normally used on the uh, grading tab to get rid of uh, chromatic aberrations. So some of this stuff doesn't quite work the same. For example, these advanced options, you have the option to change your lens center and uh, use stronger correction, but this lens center is meant if you have oversized footage or footage that's zoomed in or larger, but it doesn't seem to work with infusion. So you can't move that center. So if you happen to know how to get that thing to work with infusion, just let us know in the comments. So we all know how this thing works because I can never get it to work with infusion. I can always get it to work within the color grading tab, but not with infusion. And down here we have the option for stronger correction to make it stronger. Our estimation options right here aren't going to work unless we actually turn on some of these show estimated fringes. So if I show the estimated fringes and we look at a chromatic aberration, you can see it's estimating those uh, chromatic aberrations on the fringes of our images. And up here, I can adjust the uh, balance as well as change the brightness. Now this tool is just for visual only, and it's not going to affect your actual outcome. So no matter what change you make here, it's not going to affect anything on your outcome. It's just a tool to help you find those, uh, aberrations a little easier. And if I uncheck this and show for the green and the purples, I can do the same thing with my green and purple, change my balance, change my brightness if I want. And again, this is just to help reference those aberrations. So let's go back to show estimate fringes and let's reset all these. So you can see what's happening under our red cyan scale. We can rescale the red and the cyan to bring it in and bring it out. As well as change the edge size. So if I uncheck this and we kind of zoom into our little tower here. As I change this, you can see the chromatic aberration moving. So basically what I want to do is find a nice even spot. So I have neither coming in and I can adjust my edge scale to clean it up a little more. And I can go down to my green and purple and see what's happening with my green and my purples. And I can bring those in and out as I need. And then we can look at our blue and yellow scale to see what's going on. And we really don't have much, but we can change that to fix that a little better. So one other thing I wanted to show you was this AB up here, which is available in all the nodes within Fusion. It's not node specific, it's display specific. But if we want to see our AB comparison, we can just go down here and turn on our AB wipe. And now we have an AB wipe. And the way this works is, uh, let's go ahead and get a color corrector so we can really see the difference. Whatever one I select in here, I can just click and drag my uh, media into this one, click and drag my color corrected into the B. And now I can a B what's going on. So if I want to zoom in here and really a B, you notice we lost that square but you don't want to select lines up here because it's going to change the angle. 
but we can drag that square up to kind of where we want to zoom in. Let's get rid of that color corrector. And now I can AB my with and without that chromatic aberration correction. So that is the chromatic aberration removal tool. I will see you in the next no breakdown.